Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today, I'm very excited. I've been collecting some items for the last maybe two months. So today I'm gonna share those things. These include like books, obviously, some bookish items, some clothing, a bunch of stuff. Without further ado, let's get started. I kind of left the last video on a cliffhanger without showing what I actually got during thrifting, so let's just get started with the thrifted items. First up, I've got this sweater actually. It's just a little vintage pattern sweater. I found it in the men's section at Value Village and it was $10. Well, that's a little bit expensive, but it's the only thing I got at Value Village, so it was okay and I really like it, so I'm gonna wear this a lot. The next thing I got was at the second thrift store and it's this little mock neck with this striped pattern. I just really like the colors for some reason. I think it's just very pretty for fall. It looks cozy and I really enjoy those mock neck. They're not like complete turtleneck and they're also not just like a crew neck. So I really like this little detail. Yeah, I'm excited to wear this. Next, I got this cardigan. I really enjoy wearing cardigans on weekends. I think they're so comfy. Uh, you can pretty much wear whatever you want under it. I'm probably gonna wear it open, but I could also wear it unopened. But yeah, it's from the brand Tabby International X Large. I got this for probably five bucks, which is pretty great for something that I think is like somewhat vintage and it's still in a great condition so i'm excited about that i actually forgot to mention uh the sizing and the brand of this and this so this actually i can't find a tag I, it was probably ripped off uh but it was tagged as an x large in the store and it pretty much fits like an x large large and this one is from alaya and is an x large Next up is a very pastel sweater. It's this lilac sweater with like a turtleneck-ish. What I really liked about it were those little pom-pom balls. These are so cute. Um, I did try it on and it fits, but not like I like my sweaters to fit. So I'm probably gonna wear this more like on the weekends if I don't have anything else to wear but I'll definitely wear it at some point. The turtleneck just make it look so cozy. And this is from the brand Lee Morgan and is a large. Next up, I got a very soft and cozy burgundy colored sweater. It's more like a thick long sleeve than a sweater. I really love this. It's really soft and it's in great condition. It's from Croft and Barrow, which I thrift a lot from them, and all of their clothing are so soft. They would be good for like a study day where I just want to be comfy. So yeah, I also am excited to wear this. And this color is so perfect for fall, like the burgundy. I love it. Finally, the last thing I got from the thrift stores, it's not clothing and you're seeing it in the frame right now. It's this beautiful plant. I love this so much. Uh, I'm gonna try to show it just really quickly. It's too big for, you know, the whole frame, but you get the idea. Basically, I've never found like a big size plant before in the thrift store. And plants like this are so expensive when you get them new. This would go like at Home Sense for like 50, 60 dollars. And I got it for 10. I was so excited when I saw that in the store. I literally just ran to it. My boyfriend was like, wait, what? And I just ran through the plant and he was like, oh, okay, you saw the plant. I love this plant so, so much. And I think it looks really good next to my bookshelves. Just adds a pop of color. Yeah, this is my favorite item thrifted, obviously. I just love it. I'm gonna keep this forever. And now I'm on the hunt for more. Okay, next we're gonna go with some bookish items. Now, bookish items, I mean bookmarks. <laughs> so I got 
five bookmarks. The first three are from this company on Etsy. I think they're from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. They make bookmarks and stickers and then candles. I think that's it. I'm not sure, but first up, I got just this little book stack. It's really, really cute and it's dark, so I thought it was perfect for the fall season. I'm really in a fall mood right now. Like, I just want to get everything fall-ish. Next, I got a bookmark that says Admit One. I believe this is Carval themed, but it looks like this. It's very cute. I really liked the uh i really liked the like gold foil detail of it so i got this even though i didn't read carvel yet but yeah if i want to read it now i have this to use and next i got a we have the flame themed bookmark again there's the, like the foil part of it and i love that i also didn't read uh we have the flame yet i'm gonna read it soon so i have this bookmark to use for that. Oh, and the shop is called Ethereal Curiosities, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna link the shops down below. I've got two bookmarks from Willow and Quill shop. The first one is this beautiful, just fall vibe aesthetic bookmark. I love this one so, so much. On the back, there's actually more details. There's like a little plant, a bug, it's like a bee, and then there's like a sunflower. I really like this. And then this one I got because it just reminded me of fall again. It says wildflower on it. It got this little flower detail there and then more. <coughs> and then more uh, flowers at the back. That's it for the bookish item portion. So now I'm gonna go with the actual books that I got. And then I do have unboxings to do. So I'm very excited for the unboxing part. But first, we're going to go for the books that I got. First up, I got The Heart Principle by Helen Hoang. I did talk about this book a little bit in not the last video, but the one before that. Um, I was saying that I want to read this by the end of the year. And I've seen that this is like a third book. So Helen Hoang did, re uh, did write... Uh, the Kiss Quotient and The Bride Test, is that the name? I'm, I'm not sure, but from what I've seen on Goodreads, like, the first one is The Kiss Quotient and then there's The Bride Test and then there's this, so can anyone let me know if I can read this without reading the other ones? Is it just like it happens in the same universe type of thing or it's really like a trilogy? So someone let me know. Next up, I've got Fable by Adrian Young. I've been wanting this book like for a year now, ever since I joined Book Talk and everyone was like talking about it and posting about it, reading it. Everyone really likes this book. So I'm excited to read this. I'm gonna want to read this in the coming months. So yeah, I don't really know what this is about. I got Fable, I'm excited to read it. So yeah. Next up, I got The Witch Haven by Sarah Payton Smith. I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna read this in the month of October for sure. It's on my TV already. I'm reading this in the next month. I don't really know what it's about, but it's probably about witches, I'm guessing. And also under a jacket is more details. I really love this one. It's like a moon made out of stars. I love that. Next up, I've got The Darkness Outside Us by Elia Schaefer. Schaefer. I've heard that this is very heartbreaking, so I got it because of that reason. Um, also, the color is really cute. It's an LGBT book, I believe. The underneath, kind of boring on the on the front, but we've got some little details on the spine, so I love that. And also, I don't know if this is a contemporary or some kind of like science fiction, because they look to be in space. I guess I'll just see when I read it. Next up, I got... Neon Gods by Katie Wobbert. I've actually read this already. I really enjoyed it. The spice level of this book is like so high. I mean, this is the highest that I've read and I haven't read too many spicy books yet, but from what I've read so far, this has a lot of spice if you're interested in that. Basically, this is a Hades and Persephone retelling, 
and it's it was so good so enjoyable and addicting yeah i got that book and i've read it so finally i got bone cries moon by katherine purdy oh, this book this is also a book talk made me buy it kind of book and i've also seen that like people recommend this book as like a october read so i might also put this one on my tbr let's look at the underneath it's just a boring underneath but that's okay because the actual cover of it is pretty dang beautiful we are finally at the last part which is unboxing and i've never done an unboxing on this channel before but it just happened that both the packages were gonna come today so i thought that's perfect like i'm just gonna unbox them on camera and make the video a bit more fun so let's get started with the unboxing Okay, so first up, I've got a box from Amazon. I was getting something for my small business on Amazon and just figured I would get a book at the same time because why not? So let's get this open. So on Amazon, I got Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney. I saw the cover of this book and I just knew I wanted to get it. I've never read a Sally Rooney book yet, but didn't she write Normal People, which is a book that a lot of people actually really like. So I'm excited to read this. Again, this cover is so beautiful. It's so colorful. It's like a pop of color and ooh, there's detail inside like the hardcover part. I also really like that. Oh, and the underneath is yellow. Okay, it doesn't have anything on it, but it's yellow. The aesthetic of this book, I'm really liking it. So I'm excited to read this. And finally, we have a indigo package to open. You guys, I'm so, so, so excited for this. So let's just get this open. Oh my god, I'm so excited! It's The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. I'm so excited! All I see on Book Talk is this book. This cover is so so cute. Now I have it and it looks to be about science, so I'm excited for that part too. And literally everyone loves this. I haven't seen a bad review yet, so I'm super duper excited to read this. Alrighty, you guys, this is all the stuff I've got recently um, that I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun doing it. I'm gonna try and do these kinds of videos like every few months. It's just so I can update on stuff I've gotten if anyone cares. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want and then like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.